everybody. How are you doing this lovely Saturday morning slash afternoon? I hope you got your Saturday morning cereal. You got your blankets. You got your pillows because we are ready to go do this thing like we did in your childhood. You know, waking up Saturday morning, you go and sit in front of the TV and you watch your favorite cartoons. And that is what we're doing. How is everybody? Ah, squirrel, welcome in. Thank you very much for the raid. You're just in time for the show. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> oh, dealing with portable AC. Thank God. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a little humid today, and my ink's running very slightly. Just a small amount, like a, like a, like a smidge. <laughs> How's it going? It's going well! I hope you guys are ready for some amazing laughs today. We have four wonderful guests, very, very, very good friends of mine from the stream space, fellow VTubers. So I am very excited to have them on the show this weekend uh, because they don't know what's coming. And I feel like that's the best part about being a host is because they have no idea. <laughs> a smudge, a smidge, a smidgen, a tiny amount, a midge, if you will. <laughs> so for those of you that don't know me and that are uh, here from off Kai last weekend when we debuted the first episode... Hello, my name is Pumpkin Potion, and I'm a full-time VTuber here on Twitch TV. I'm a professional musician and vocalist, and a heckin' adorable cartoon dame from 1931, as well as the host of Tuned In Comedy Show. And before we start, I want to let you know that Tuned In Comedy Show is advised for 18 and plus, so you kitties get like, shoo, get out of here, go watch Rugrats or something. Okay, get out. <laughs> so, let's get this bad boy started and introduce our four amazing guests this week. Hi, guys! Hello! Hi! Hi! I Why is there so a excited. ball and chain on my leg? Uh, I, I, Wait, I, that I, wasn't I just me? It. I paid for it. I paid for it. Actually, Patreon paid for it. Thanks, hey, patrons. Uh, <laughs> hey, Digi, uh, what, what you got there? Yeah, what, a what's smoothie. The... Oh! oh doesn't, okay. that look, <clears throat> doesn't that look a little familiar, Digi? Stolen I'm merchandise, sure maybe? I'm not sure what you're referring to. The family will remember. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many family members you love, did you? <laughs> <laughs> the more that crown stays on for every second, another family member goes missing in the fishes. <gasps> anyway, hello. I remember <laughs> Vinny always. He went down with the ship, and I have great respect for that. Next, Next bit, Ray. This. Next bit. Uh, they'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's uh let's go around the table here and i'm gonna introduce all of you guys to the audience one by one we're gonna start in this upper corner up here with red claw whose first date was with littlefoot's mom do you still keep in contact with your stepson look look what you need to understand <laughs> is that <laughs> I, I went to go get some milk and then an earthquake <laughs> happened and I didn't and I couldn't find my way back. All right. That's the excuse we're going with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you went out for that's milk my, and didn't come back. I got my, that's my story. And I'm sticking with it. <laughs> <laughs> <Ha>! <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. Rick. <laughs> Went out for those tree stars, Neo Spectre I went said. out. For, I went out to go get some tree stars, and then I got lost. All right. <laughs> what did you get lost, or was it an earthquake? You gotta choose. You can't um, have uh, your cake and eat it. It was both. It, it could be both. It could be both. <laughs> <laughs> them them look, earthquakes. I'm not, look, I'm not good at. I'm, oh. I'm, <laughs> Man understands. I am directionally compromised. I have a terrible sense of direction. All right. I get turned around very easily. <laughs> Dang, welcome to the land before child support. <laughs> <laughs> is it true that T-Rexes can't see anything if they stand still? That is a... Mm, that triggers me so bad. No, the answer is no. <laughs> you get the feel how, it gets, how I get profiled when everyone looks at me going, Hey, Zoran, you want some honey? Then I also want to just throw, throw them into a sewer pipe. You, you see, for me, it's either the T-Rex can't see if I hold still and also, How are you typing with little arms? Very carefully. <laughs> and standing desk. With, the answer is standing care. desk. <laughs> and predictive care. text. Come on. <laughs> All right. So let's uh let's meet our next guest. This is uh Party Demoness, aka Minerva, 
who is the inventor of disc golf and the two-person sweatshirt. How's business going? Very tricky. Disc golf didn't really, you know, take off, but the two-person sweatshirt, oh man, the memes, they're everywhere. They're like the get-along shirts, except comfier. Oh, so where do I go mm. to order one of those? Can I get one? Uh, well, you can find them being ripped off everywhere on third-party Amazon shops. Oh, I can't wait. I need to go to Wish immediately. We have to stop. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Good episode, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> I don't know. I heard, I heard the disc golf thing on college campuses was doing very well these days. I wouldn't know. I haven't been to college in a very long time. I'm not exactly with the, uh, with the kids, so to speak, unfortunately. You're not caught up with the youths. The youths. Hello, the youths. fellow youths. I'm not with the kids with the money and the parents and the cars. <laughs> you're, you're not going to believe this, but I unironically, as we were started, starting got a message from someone saying yeah i'm distracting myself by throwing plastic discs at baskets see oh. business is booming business is booming. amazing <laughs> incredible how do you do it fellow like... kids <laughs> All right, what are the odds i uh i i hear that you once fell asleep while gargling an entire farmer's market of garlic cloves how'd that go how did that happen <laughs> did, did you we call it, look, you can't prove anything. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, Haunted Harmony's production went and dug through all of this. I know it's real. I you was can't assured fake it. that the records were expunged. No, no, just like but, proof that that that, that, that the I, crown you're wearing is factually not oh. yours. But I gave it to you anyway. Merry Christmas. Look, I am an upstanding member of the community who would never do such wanton things. And my hobbies include, uh, you know, giving to charity, uh, kissing babies in the cheek, and uh, not giving back the things I definitely didn't steal. As I said, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and our, vi and our uh, final guest down in the bottom corner here is Zorin the Bear who I heard once jumped off a cliff and assembled a full four, or 747 with peanuts on the way down. Yeah, I learned it all from Fortnite. Oh, dang. I got to play more <laughs> Amazing. Fortnite. Amazing. I got to play more into, Fortnite, I, man. I got into the construction business ever since I learned that if I get any bit of, of fear of losing, I'll make an entire mansion from scratch. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe Zorin hit the gritty on the way down. God. I hate you. With, with peanuts. <laughs> with peanuts i might add with peanuts with peanuts i've been with flight snacks peanuts. what you've got he's got a crown <laughs> <laughs> gestures <laughs> it's just a sign his kingdom will fall like the rest when i see his activities in minecraft right in minecraft no. in my oh. <laughs> no. no in roblox clearly <laughs> All right, so let me explain uh, to the audience how this works. We're going to take a little trip over to the main screen over here. I'm going to bring all ah! you with me. Somebody roll ah! that ball and chain over so that Zord can get in the window. Um, so if you're new here, this is how this game is played. For the next one hour of show, I will be showing my four guests below a series of cartoon clips anywhere between the eras of 1930, my era, all the way up to around 1990. During this, they are allowed to watch the clip one time without the dialogue and sound effects present. I assign them roles to play, and they improv over the scene as best as they can, as closely as they can, and then we're gonna see how close they actually came to the real deal. You follow me? You got me? All right. You guys ready to play? No, but let's uh, do it anyway. <laughs> let's go. Let's I'm prepared go. to mess up. <laughs> All right. So let's get on to our uh, let's get on to our first clip. And uh, this first clip is going to feature Red Claw and Zorin. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right. So how this is gonna run down? I'm gonna let you guys see the clip first. I'm gonna give you your roles, and then I'm gonna play it again, and you guys will get a chance to act it out. So in All this right. classic Hanna-Barbera clip, Boo Boo agrees to once again help Yogi escape from Jellystone Park. Yogi will be played by Red Claw, 
and Boo Boo oh. will be played by Zorin. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> All right. Oh boy. Let's take a look at the clip you're going to be dubbing over. I love slapstick. <laughs> the old classics, you know? clip you get you guys ready oh, to give it a go i got an idea <laughs> all, right, all right let's go it's gonna be so, about uh... the so prep yourself oh no <laughs> fun okay let's do this <laughs> all right in three two one let's jam Kamayo gave you only a tier one sub she doesn't love you <laughs> hey hey boo boo you gotta understand i gotta well, send her your off. funeral Oh! <laughs> if I give her the two, three subs, she'll. Oh God, I got banned. <laughs> okay, well, this tier two might do it. He might even make a new position. I think this is gonna work this time. I really do believe it. Well, uh, you can always try it for Discord mod. Here you go. Oh. All right, let's see how this works, everybody. I'm thinking internally. Nothing oh, bad wow. can happen here. He really made it all the way over there. Maybe he will get moderator. All right, I think we're gonna stick the landing here and up. Oh, I accidentally sent a, a feet pick. Well, it was worth a shot. <laughs> well, did you get Discord moderator? Uh, yeah, but then I got banned again. <laughs> <laughs> I I love how you went for the Yogi Bear accent for like five minutes and you were like, nah, I can't. No, I'm good. I'm just going to roll it's through just, it. Hey, boo -boo. Hey, boo -boo. I'm going to do this up. Why don't you love me? Uh, I know. That was, that was pretty good. Stop giving subs. She's never going to love you. <laughs> you might still get Discord mod. <laughs> She's still get I just like the idea of like, I, okay, I got it. No, nothing bad can happen here. And then I'm going to just do something really freaking stupid. Oh, there it is. <laughs> he comes back and he's like, did you get mod? <laughs> for, for one whole day. <laughs> still got banned. <laughs> All right, let's take a let's take a peek at how actually close you came to the real thing. I don't think uh -oh. feet picks were involved, but here we go. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Have to let go, Yogi. Quiet, boo boo. It don't mean a thing if you don't pull that string. Okie dokie, Yogi. Geronimo! I like he's dead. You back. know. He is dead. <laughs> you don't quit, Yogi. Let's blast off, boo-boo. Don't forget to write if you find work. I mean, you were kind of close there. How about that? <laughs> he finally got off the ground. I have to point out that truck was open at the start and is dragging that bottom bit <laughs> the entire way. He's a bad truck driver. <laughs> that truck driver is high I as fuck. He does not care. <laughs> <laughs> He's all up on the on those pet pills right now. Look, old cartoons, we didn't pay attention to that. Everybody was supposed to be watching Yogi and not the car. <laughs> I want to also put out there was clearly also no roof to that. Like the, yeah, dude, like, how, is that supposed to, how is that supposed to protect goods and wares? He's got it's like half 50s. a U-Haul. <laughs> <laughs> We're oh, overthinking the cartoon, guys. We're overthinking the cartoon. I don't care about their animation <laughs> budget. I want quality. I know <laughs> what happened. Quality continuity. Look, if you're if you're looking for quality, I'm gonna tell you right now that Hanna Barbera ain't it, okay? <laughs> <Isn't> <laughs> it? <laughs> He went under one of those really stush, those really short bridges and like sheared the top off. 
I can see it. <laughs> you know what that means, though? You know what that means, though? That means uh, we kick this off with uh, Red Claw and Zorin, which means that leaves uh, Min and, uh, and Digi to take up Wait. the next one. You guys ready? No, but yeah, let's go. No, but Hit yeah. Me. All right. So we're going to do uh, clip number two here. And in this hair raising clip starring two Looney Tunes favorites, a genius predator, Wiley Coyote, tries to capture Bugs Bunny. Bugs will be played by Min. Fuck. And uh, <laughs> Wiley Coyote will be played by Digi. Oh boy! You have no lines. Does he even talk? Does he even talk? Wiley Wiley Coyote does talk. Yes, he does. Wait a minute. Is this from the era where like he sounded like really freaking refined? That is correct. That is correct. That's the era. Wiley Coyote, genius. Like yes, that's the one you're talking about. Oh boy! I remember this time. Let's go. All right. Let's take a let's take a peek at the version without the sound effects. Half brain will travel. <laughs> oh, I am ready. I'm oh, not. <laughs> I, 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 I'm trying to think. That's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Get so we're doing brain, uh, so. bugs as, or excuse me, Min as bugs and uh, Digi as Wiley Coyote. In right. three, two, one. Let's jam. Good afternoon, Rabbit. I am a certified genius, as you can see on this business card I had printed out at Costco's. <laughs> you know, I was, you know, Doc, I was trying to sleep here, and, and you know, you just kind of bust up any- oh. oh, yeah, no, I, I know, I know you're impressed, but please hold your applause to the end. Just <laughs> one, one sec, let me just get out, ugh, the stupid <laughs> wish blanket, it's too small! <laughs> they said it was for a large, and I just, it's, it's not the right size, you know how, they're just too small! Have you tried uh, the local JC Pennies? I've heard they have things in all sorts of sizes. JC Pennies? That, what do I look like? Made out of money? Now let's see. Let's, uh, oh, oh, I found something. You want to see something? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you I do love surprise. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that was the chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Zero to sixty at the end. You want to see something? By the way, I ate the chlamydia. <laughs> I was like, I can't think of anything. Oh my god. Oh, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that, that chlamydia was probably not in the original dialogue. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Dang, they still had contaminated oh. clothes over at JC Penney. God, I'm sweating. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you're sweating? I'm sweating. <laughs> Let's take a look at the original clip. Let's see how close you came. <laughs> Permit me to introduce myself. My name is Coyote. Wild E. Coyote. Genius. Have brain, eh? Hey, that must be very handy at times. Why, yes, it has its advantages. Uh, for example, you asked me just now what I had in the bag, and I was supposed to say a rabbit, to which you would reply, what are you going to do with him? <laughs> then I was supposed to say something stupid, which would enable you to get very clever, and so on and so on and on. When by this time, we both know very well that there is nothing left in the bag. There isn't? 
I, um, I don't like to disagree with no genius, Doc, but, uh, but there is. <laughs> well. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> he, 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 he is he is dead. He checked the bag. It's fine. I don't know if chlamydia was in the bag, but he did check it wasn't. the bag. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a this is like case. sticking a grenade into someone's pocket and fall out. <laughs> Mel Blanc will always be a legendary voice actor. I agree, Shadowbug. I agree. Mm, absolutely mm. true. <laughs> he got clapped. I'm sure he got something. You got something. It was probably chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We said clap, not the clap. They're two completely <laughs> different things. <laughs> oh, man. You know what that means, though? That means that since we got through two each, that means this one's going to be for all four of you. Oh, no. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> We're going to do this in three, two, one. Let's jam. Wait a minute, this isn't cocaine! Oh, hey, what the fuck? What are you doing down there? Here, here, c come on. Oh, you got some stuff on you. Is that coke? Uh, Yo? Don't worry about it, you handsome man! Here, let me let me just put these on you. You, you drop these. Uh, You look really... Wow. The coke really uh, brings out your eyes. Hey, I don't... I don't need you to be hitting on my girlfriend with her cocaine addition. You know, we have plenty back at the lodge. We even keep hunting outside. This is a literal mountain of cocaine. You know I can't turn away from this. It's I don't even know if this is real. It's unrefined. Man, what's his deal? Not love coke, I guess, huh? It's unrefined and unpure. Our family makes the best one. That's why we were able to afford this ski trip. All I wanted was a mountain of cocaine, and he's rejecting me for it. Unlike you, you magnificent man who looks like a Ken doll. Bye! <laughs> Gosh, what a man. I am decamped so like that since I joined the Peace Corps. <laughs> I did not know you were going to go with the drug angle, so I was unprepared. <laughs> I'm sorry, I lost it somewhere around. Bye! <laughs> I didn't, like it happened so quick I didn't even like get to say the thing I wanted it was just like oh shit okay bye <laughs> oh my god oh, I, I was not expecting coke mountain but here we are <laughs> I love coke mountain coke mountain look at least you didn't describe it as another way we're safe oh yeah. god <laughs> That was a that was a very spicy romance. I think you guys pulled it off very well. Very, very well. Yeah. Literally <laughs> sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Let's go. Hey. I only had to think of one line. I had it easy. <laughs> Coke Mountain, Charlie. We're going to Coke, going Mountain. To Coke Mountain. That would explain a lot about that series, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the magical Leopoldon isn't real. <laughs> Suddenly, everybody like under the age of twenty in chats, like, "What's a Charlie? What's a what's a mountain? What do you mean, what's a mountain? What's a yeah, mountain?" Twenty-year-olds never learned geography. <laughs> what's a geography? That sounds like something boomers know. Actually, it looks more like a what plateau. is mountain? What's this mountain? <laughs> what's oh. a coke? Let's. Go. What's the I, coke? I, I, I'm in tears. <laughs> and we haven't even Candy gotten to the good ones yeah, yet. Right. Yeah. Holy moly. <laughs> All right. Oh, how you, how you feeling, Krill? You getting warmed up? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My brain's rotting. <laughs> <laughs> that was happening before we got here. I think it was all the coke on the mountain. We got it <laughs> definitely all the coke on the mountain. Like, I don't even know if half that shit was actually happening or if it was just in her head. Hey, Pumpkin, oh, no, I really you want, appreciate you want to all find the out? candy in the green room. Yes! <laughs> Here's the actual scene intact. Let me help you up, miss. Oh! None the worse for wear. Oh, it was German, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr... Svensson, I work here. I am very best instructor. I'll bet you are. Rio! I brought the equipment. You can practice now, if you've got the time. Rio, what are you getting so upset about? He was just helping me out. Anyway, I thought it was Jerrica you cared about. No, Leo, you can't have two girlfriends and me with none. <laughs> She's yours, Romeo. God damn. 
And the name is Rio. I apologize for Rio. He's impossible sometimes. But you came to my rescue. I'm grateful. Any time. Peace out. There Show. he goes. <laughs> if you don't I feel want like Show off. This, I'll take him. <laughs> if you don't want <laughs> Swanson, I'll take him. <laughs> I feel like I feel like that animation they had was like supposed to go forward, but they were like, oh crap, we don't have anything made for this scene. Just reverse this. Just, 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 just rewind it. Just, just take the cell, flip it, and pull it backwards. I don't know. <laughs> he said physics? Nah. No. Peace. Yeah, Gem, I don't Gem know. and the hologram I... was like a was a total thing of its time. Like you had you had Barbie dolls, right? But then you had mm -hmm. Gem and the holograms, which were Barbies, but cooler, but way cooler <laughs> because they had like all the crazy '80s stuff, like the big wild hair, the leopard print, like the mm -hmm. the what, what, what highlighter colored clothes, like an entire thing for the misfits. I don't know. I, I thought it was warmers. a cool show. I like. I have so torn. many leg warmers. I think all ours the leg warmers. I think our version captured the spirit of the 80s a little better. I, 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 will say, I think ours actually captured the 80s more. The, with the Coke Mountain? Lots yes! of Coke. <laughs> All right. So moving forward, we're gonna take we're gonna take two more of you. We're gonna highlight two more of uh your heckin' comedic comedic prowess. And uh Oh yeah, this is we're gonna have fun with this one. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> we're gonna oh, have boy. a we're gonna have a good old time. This one's gonna be featuring uh Digi and Zorin this time. Oh boy. And uh in this clip from Marvel's animation history, the great hero Spider-Man vows to stop the dastardly green goblin from terrorizing the city. Green Goblin will be played by Digi. Spider-Man will be played by Zorin. I'm gonna throw you such a fucking curveball, no matter what this game is. You are screwed. I'm gonna I'm try so my ready. best. All right, let's take a look at the the clip without the dialogue. Here we go. <laughs> 60s Spider-Man was a gem, the, honestly. The, the intense music with like the very minimal animation <laughs> is really getting me. <laughs> Fuck. Now, my favorite bit about this clip is is the weird close-up of Goblin at the end. That's like th that that is the piece oh, de no. resistance. Oh! oh. <laughs> Look at the lashes on him, man! Ha! Huh. I couldn't pay for lashes at the salon like that. Are you kidding me? Well, I don't know, but there's no on. lash tech in the state that could do better work than what he's got. I'm going to ruin these scenes, <laughs> Digi. I hope you're ready. <sighs> it's going to I'm be gonna... one word. I'm going to roll Wait, with one it. word? I'm, I'm, I'm going to say roll one word. It. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's probably going to be two or three, but you get it. <sighs> <laughs> All right, pals, take a breath. And here we go. In three, two, one. Let's jam. A bitter man. <laughs> Spider Man! You can't stop me from reading! You can't stop me. I'm Pitter Man! <laughs> <laughs> uh, wh what the heck are you talking about? Do you have a speech impediment? Oh God! Oh God! I forgot to turn on the thruster. Uh, oh, put him in down. Put him in dizzy. Have a read. Fifty Shades of Grey. Ha ha! Pitterman doesn't like books. You're lost, Pitterman. And now to show you my Harry Houdini impression. Ha ha ha! Pitterman can't drown. You can't do anything to Pitterman. You you do know how water works, right? Blah. Take this. <laughs> <laughs> this is very topical, <laughs> Goblin Man. <laughs> and now to abolish Q-tips. 
together until blah <laughs> I, look, I looked at the scene all it was gonna be at the start was just i'm like i'm spitter man and then i'm just gonna just, just let him go for it but the God. scene was just like the fucker with the hands <laughs> yeah, this thing with the hands that he did at the front i don't even can we, know what can that we, was can we pour it out for pitter man i don't think he ever got out of that i can't believe pitter man is just dead he's dead <laughs> This is what they neglected to tell you in Spider Verse. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was That's the real yeah, Spider Man I, you went to go see. I was. Oh. I was. Chat. Yeah, the, the yossified Green Goblin kind of kind of threw me through. <laughs> yeah. When I when I was looking for clips initially, and I saw that, I just looked at that, and I was like, "What the f is that? Who drew that? Why does it look like that? There's no other scene." In, the, in its entirety, where he, where he looks like that. They had extra budget I, that day. I think all like, of the happened? budget went to that one like scene. Everything else. It just went to specifically so his lashes. My God. Yeah. Impressive ah. as heck. Yes, mm. gaze into his <laughs> well-defined jowls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my face hurts from laughing. Oh, Let's oh take God. a look at the I original of clip anything. with the dialogue intact of Pitterman, uh, <laughs> 1967. Spider-Man, I thought I got rid of you. I practice a little sleight of hand myself. Or should I say, <laughs> web? Boo! Oh. Boo! Loop and strain, bind him with chain. Wallop and web snappers. What happened? What happened? Uh, what happened? Has what? Risen. He and actually is said what happened. Plastic prison. <laughs> <laughs> You'll forgive me if I don't applaud. Don't be a spoil sport, Spider Man. In case you get thirsty while I'm gone, here's a tall, cool drink. Sorry, I can't stick around to enjoy your end. But I missed a few banks last night, and I don't like to play favorites. <laughs> why does his glider sound like that? I was about to say, like, why does it yeah. sound like the glider's just having repetitive wet fart? <laughs> <laughs> it's got the hot girl like, IBS. <laughs> oh no, the glider's the, a VTuber. The glider <laughs> specifically is hot girl I, I, IBS. <laughs> Not goblin, goblin, the glider. The glider. <laughs> Just the glider. Green goblin gatekeep Just... rip ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's riding one of those crotch rockets from the early 2000s. You know, the little, the like itty bitty motorcycles. Yes, oh, yeah, I know the there's ones. Someone, there's someone in my apartment neighborhood, like the complex, who has one. They still really? exist. It still works? Why? Why? I don't know. I don't talk I... to people. I it just remember like e I just remember tree. going to like family trips on like boardwalks and every boardwalk had them. See, I live I live uh in, in New England, so we, we don't get the joy of having, you know, boardwalks and other fancy places mm. for people with with you know kick flip five sixty razor scooter boards. <laughs> I just remember them getting almost immediately banned by the town I lived in, like on lo using local ordinances. Because of course, what almost immediately happened is some kid ate shit onto the con <laughs> onto the sidewalk, right? As, as, you, as you do, as you do. <laughs> it's that you, you've given him basically like a, a, a like a, like a motor powder powered unicycle to a child. What what did you think? What was did you going think was happen? going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, because Digi and Zorin uh, were the pair for the last clip, that means uh, it's Min and Red's turn in this Yay. clip. Oh, boy! <laughs> Remind me when you come back to get a Mickey clip. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, boy, everybody. Oh, boy, everybody. Ha, ha. So, Gosh, Mickey. I this can't believe next Sora clip... can find the Keebly. God damn it! <laughs> 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 okay, this next clip sends us all the way to the far city of Duckburg, where the scheming Flintheart Glim or Glomgold proposes a sneaky bet 
with his lifelong rival, Scrooge McDuck. Glomgold will be played by Red Claw. No! Which means Scrooge <laughs> McDuck will be played no! by Minerva. <laughs> no! Oh, I can't oh, ask that. It, no! Get quacking! <laughs> no! I'm no. If it, if it helps, they're both Scottish. So you would know <laughs> you yeah yeah help. they're both Scottish. You wouldn't have gotten have away with it either the way. way to, the, the talk rich the entire time. They're both Scottish. They're both from uh, Scotland. I can't okay, wait okay, for so us this, to get... so you're all gonna learn real quick that Red's a fantastic voice actor, and I'm just gonna be going. Oh, nope. but, no, don't do that. You're setting me up for failure as I am about to butcher the Scottish dialect. I Let's can't go. wait for us all to be IP banned from the entirety of Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get hate messages from Kaiju Fluffs in my DMs as soon as this is over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready to see the clip? All right, let's do it. Here we go. That clip feels so long. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that felt so long. I was like, oh god, I have so much to say. Oh, <laughs> one, no. Each clip is one minute in full. It oh. feels so much longer than that. Oh my god. <laughs> now you get to argue with each other in Scottish for a full minute. It's gonna be great. I'm excited. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Take a deep breath. Here we go. No. Okay. In three. Two, one, let's jam. And that is why I am the most Scottish duck here with my beard. Yep. Yes, you are You are the most Scottish. I can't do this. Oh, no. Oh, there. oh what's it, what you got on the table there? I've got a big load of secret Scottish oh. goods, mainly money. Oh, oh I just got the boner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I, I will take this right here. Thank you so much. I'm what? Now you will not put your boulder in my Scottish money! Are you kidding me? No, you know how much money you want no, no. to be Scottish things It's like in that. my arms already, I've already got it. It's, yep, you can't stop me, I've already got it in my arms. Oh yes, well here's what we're gonna do. I challenge you to a Scottish off, whoever is. Oh, really now? That's right, whoever, whichever one of us is the most Scottish gets to keep all of the Scottish money. And I, and with my beard and my fancy hat, I've already- Yeah, well you and your beard and get out of my house. Ha, little does he know that's not Scottish money, it's Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Never again! Never again! You related to the entire area of Scotland. Oh my god. The last line. I can hear the transatlantic cables being cut as we speak. I would like to formally apologize to everybody in the EU right now. Like, across the board from west side to east side. Uh, we do, we do not, uh, we, we do oh, not. don't say you, that. They don't want to hear that from the EU. We're not responsible. You have to take it up with Twitch. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, dear take Lord. Take it up with Twitch and Patreon. I'm so sorry. You can send your hate mail to Pumpkin Potion. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you? No, send it to Twitch. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay, send okay. For those of you who, I, I, I see some people actually genuinely getting upset at spaghetti. Um... Y'all imagine like not knowing anything and then trying to pull an entire scene out of your butt on the spot. Like, please, for love of God. <laughs> Three. You, got, you guys Three. know how the DuckTales themes go? The what themes? Mm. The DuckTales theme. You guys oh, know yeah. how to do it? Do yeah. we all want to give it a shot? No, oh, I don't. 
I only know the freaking woo-woo part. Dun, 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 Life dun, is dun, like dun, a dun, hurricane dun, 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 here dun, 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 in Duck Burger. You all started out with like pumpkin. Do you know the you know the bit at all? How it goes at all? I mean, I know how the theme song goes. Yeah, yeah. You want to lead us off on the theme song? See how they terribly I, interpret it. I don't. I don't know the theme song because I didn't grow up watching it. Oh no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> never mind. Next bit. <laughs> Everyone's too shy. <laughs> oh. I'll give you points for the uh, Ducktales. Oh, ooh. I'll give you points for that. Thank since, you. Points? since that's the point, that's the part that Wait, you actually know. Point system here? No, no, there's no point system. I'm just making everybody feel better. Welcome to the tuned in, where we mm. say the words and the points don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Legally distinct show. Anyway. So, uh, I think, I, I think I have to introduce this next clip very carefully. Uh, I took a look at the guest list this week for episode three, and I was like, mm, we have, we have a couple of very specific clips that need to be lined up for this one specifically, for this group specifically. So... Let me introduce this very special clip that I, uh, that I wrangled up. This, uh, oh, no. this will feature all four of you, by the way. What? Oh, no. Oh, what do you oh, mean boy. by that? This oh, is another <laughs> all four of you clip. Yeah, I, I, I chose OBS. this one special. I see that title. I don't. This clip oh, no. shows us more than meets the eye when oh. Optimus Prime <laughs> discovers a trap set by Lord Chumley and Decepticons, Blitzwing, and Astrotrain decide to step in. Blitzwing will be played by Red. Chumley oh, will be played by Digi. Who? I'll show you. Don't worry. <laughs> Astrotrain will be played by Min. And Optimus is going to be played by Zorin. Oh my god. So if you are unfamiliar <gasps> with the characters of Transformers, I will go ahead and show you guys. Oh, what, uh, was the, uh, the, the what was the audio for, for DuckTales? Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah, I didn't realize right. I, didn't I skipped it. it. Let's go back really quick and take a look at that. My fault. We were so thrown off by, by Scott's. By, by, by the Scottish Olaf. thing. Yes. <laughs> by Scottish. Yes. Let's go back and take a look. I apologize. That was my fault. All of Scotland. Let's take Sc a look. Scotland. 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 Your laundry. What do you want, Flitheart? I want to buy your messed up candy factory. Sure. Just name the price, double it, and... Uh, wait. What do you want it for? Oh, about two million dollars. Deal. Ha! It'll cost you that much just to clean it up. You always were a poor businessman, Flinty. Oh? Why, I've got more money-making ability in my pinky than you have in your whole soggy body. That's not true. The day I so get a soggy body. rings around you, I'll eat your stupid hat. Why don't you put your money where your beak is? I triple dare you. You're on. What are the rules? Rules? No rules. Whoever makes the most money from scratch in, in two weeks wins. Whoever loses eats my hat. Deal. <laughs> two weeks, then. <laughs> <laughs> I got Scroogey this time, partner. <laughs> there you go. I don't think we were that far off. <laughs> you, no, <laughs> you weren't. With the, with the with the exception of the the Scottish boner in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> Soggy body. <laughs> I think it's my favorite. I'm you. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. <laughs> Soggy body. Soggy body. Uh, that's. I'm not talking about the mental images that came to mind. I would like to banish them to the never realm. <laughs> I'm never going to think of those two words next to each other ever again, or I'm going to have a seizure. <laughs> All right. Soggy body. So, uh, because because I, I am the best host ever and actually forgot to play the DuckTales audio afterwards, please forgive me for that. Mm. I am going to go over this one one more time so that we yeah. don't lose sight of it. So... Mm -hmm. This clip shows us more than meets the eye when Optimus Prime discovers a trap set by Lord Chumley and the Decepticons Blitzwing and Astrotrain decide to step in. Blitzwing will be played by Red. Lord Chumley will be played by Digi. 
Astro Train will be played by Min, and Optimus will be played by Zorin. And if you are unfamiliar with those characters, I'm going to go ahead and show the, uh, the edited clip, and I will point them out to you. Ready to go? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Optimus, obviously. That's Lord Chumley. The dude with the mustache. It's a good mustache. It's a very good mustache. <laughs> here, here come Blitz Swing and Astro Train. Oh, God! <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Blitzwing is on the ground. <laughs> Astro Train is the one shooting him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Optimus just leaves. He's like, I don't, uh, I don't care. <laughs> this was one of the funniest <laughs> clips. The thing is, I if I'm not mistaken, I remember one line specifically from this from that scene. <laughs> I think yes, I think yeah. I think that you've seen this clip before. I like that, um, <laughs> Ultimus is committed a fucking war crime. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm God, so proud of this hurts. clip. All right, pals, take a deep breath. In three, <laughs> two. One, let's jam. Mm. A civilian was left to be a human trap. Oh, I was trying to find G.I. Joe. What are these giant overgrown Roblox toys doing here? Get the hell out of my giant expensive trap, you bastard. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, would you look at this? A, an innocent bystander. Time to commit murder. Wait, what is this? Oh, God, I'm getting splooged. What? No! No, you fool! Do you have any idea how much a giant acid trap uh, 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 Astro Train, help! Oh, God, you, oh, it's getting everywhere. The, uh, this mountain, ow, the, no, the mountain Dew Jello! <laughs> I'll shoot the Mountain Dew Jello! It looks like a bunch of not my problem. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Sucks to suck. Help! It's, oh. it's not working! <laughs> I'm sorry. Try it again. Maybe Blitz you shoot I'm me in the try... face. All right, all right. I'll try again. I'll try again. All right. <laughs> it's really hard. <laughs> to an Optimus Prime voice without me sitting here going, I'm Optimus Prime, oh. like constantly. Yeah, to trying to, like, editor. grab it. Like, the, yeah. like the entire... how expensive an acid trap is. <laughs> Sucks to suck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the best part about this is I I know that uh, Min is a big fan of Transformers, and so I so wanted to make. Oh yeah, actually, that's right. Both of you are. So I wanted I love to Transformers. Though. So I had to get a Transformers clip this week because I knew that this was going to be the optimal time to ah. actually have this clip on here. So I chose this one specifically. For this reason and this line by Optimus right here. Oh God! I, it oh, is this, it is it. this one. It, it is. is this one. <laughs> Go on, save her, save her. Not today, Chumley. Not today. Gret, what? Outsmarted by a lorry, I am disgraced. <laughs> Why did oh, Optimus Prime save her? Unless. Stop your crying. Blitzwing, no, it's... Astro Train, help! Where did he come from? That blasted fool? You blasted fool? Hang on! Amazing. A booby trap that booby actually, trap catches, that actually boobies. catches boobies. <laughs> Blitzwing, how do you get into these messes? <laughs> wow, it did get in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard an angry gagged robot before. Jesus Christ. The cut on, on Blitzwing is my favorite thing. That like... <laughs> <laughs> and it just cut. 
I loved it. So I had I've to. I've never I had to heard pick that an one angry gagged robot before. <laughs> that's that's going in the quotes. <laughs> <laughs> So do you do you approve of the clip? Do you approve? I approve. Did I do I good? Approve. Absolutely. Yes, that was good? a good one. Pulled that was some, a good one. Pulled yeah. some good old Gen One. <laughs> yeah, let's yes. go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so this next clip also features all four of you together. Oh, no. um, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna preface this by saying I'm actually a little bit concerned about this clip. I'm a little bit oh. worried about this clip because I have a feeling I'd, I'm. You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read it. I'm just gonna read it, and you're gonna have to figure it out because oh, it's no. not my problem. Is this a return to Coke Mountain? <laughs> Are we going Coke back Mountain. to Coke no, Mountain? It's probably Coke worse. Mountain. It's probably worse. Oh, all, all right. right. <laughs> so this one's for all four of you. You never know what kind of hijinks the Scooby-Doo gang will get into. And this clip, the gang at Mystery Inc. takes down three dairy-stealing thieves. Oh. Figure it out. Fred <laughs> is going to be played by Zorin. Shaggy is going to be played by Min. Daphne will be played by Digi. Oh my. And Scooby will be played by Red Claw. <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna so, chunk uh, that dog with my ascot. So I'm I'm scared of this. I am I'm factually afraid at what this is gonna bring, but but we're gonna do it anyway. Are we ready to go? Here's here's the uh here here's the preview. Have have a great day. Have have fun. All right. <laughs> have fun with this. Um yeah. Oh, that's the one with sound, I think. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We're good. Oh! <laughs> Chat! Chat's going, no! My concern is already palpable. <laughs> Oh no! So the Scooby Doo concern. gang is about to uh, stop some dairy thieves uh, <laughs> before they leave the warehouse. Um, you ready to go? Deep breath. No. <laughs> I don't think anybody yeah. is ready for this clip. Honestly, when Zorin goes no. There, there, there is, there is no, um. there, there is no preparing anybody for this clip. So you're just gonna have to go for it. All right, deep breath, and here we go. In three. Two, one, let's jam. Can't believe we're about to get killed by laundry. Oh, uh, this is it, King. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby! <laughs> Jesus well, Christ! Well, fellas, that was a really good entrance you made. <laughs> like, thanks! We found all of the frozen yogurt and it melted! Are you ready to be here? Gang, split up! I'll close the door to stop him! Door noises. Door noises. <laughs> <laughs> I never learned how to drive. Can you turn off the siren? We did it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys played that, that so <laughs> much more tame than I thought you were gonna go with. We that. were all I, too scared I to almost, do it. I almost wanted to say like Scooby Dooby Coom, but I was like, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> Scooby Dooby. <laughs> I think it's because everyone is it was expecting it uh, that we decided to go. No, how oh about we don't this time? was hanging so low it was rotten. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I, I don't know what they're gonna do with this. Either they're gonna, either they're gonna, they're gonna take the fruit at the lowest point of the tree, or they're gonna go like somewhere in the mid section where they're gonna like go around the joke. And you guys were like, no, the cherries are at the top. We can't take anything go for lower. the cherries. <laughs> I'm gonna get the cherries at the top. 
Oh my god. It was god. very much a but like a very solid no, none of that. Shame on anyone who expected us to do it. <laughs> so I'm impressed. I'm impressed by all of you on that. Congrats for, for I taking, chose restraint for today. taking the cherry. <laughs> <laughs> we showed restraint. For cherry picking. Oh god. All right. How you doing, audience? You good? We have uh let's see, we've got <laughs> We've got two more clips to go before that ends our show for the night. Um, how you feeling? You staying hydrated? Enjoying your enjoying your Saturday Ooh. morning cereal? <laughs> you like you have to let the cereal like cereal stew and soak in the milk. <laughs> hey, you want to make sure that it's like like a nice porridge before you eat it. Yeah, yeah, a nice nice soggy uh. bake. I got all that sugar dissolved in the milk, so it tastes extra good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> What what does the original clip say? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yes. Oh yes. yeah. Here is a little peek see at the original version. Girls, <laughs> you make a run for it. It's Shaggy and Scooby. And a zillion gallons of milk. Hi gang. Anybody for a milkshake? I've left the milk. Yeah. You weren't you were not off the mark. Getting away. Well, let's go. <laughs> I wanna know if a garage doing it sounds like that. <laughs> <laughs> like a half-life two heel sound. <laughs> nice work, gang. We trapped him. They can't open the doors. Nice work, gang. Yeah, good <laughs> nice, job, work, gang. nice work, gang. <laughs> God, Fred's voice is so bad. Fred, the precursor to the anime shonen voice. Look, <laughs> Fred, Fred was really, really good in Mystery Inc. because of his weird trap obsession. I don't know if you guys I ever watched. I, I've oh, seen, I I've seen a couple this. of episodes. Mystery Inc. Is yeah. my favorite Mystery Inc was easily the best iteration of any of the Scooby-Doo shows entirely it, by it's far. It's the same actor though. It's a, it's very Welker. <laughs> yep. But but the writing was so good. Oh no, the oh no, no. It absolutely the writing the roughly got better. The, right, I, been, I just find it funny that literally it's been the same guy for like <laughs> he has had all so much time. fun moving from campy old school cartoons to just watching his character get progressively more unhinged with each writer <laughs> like the Love thing where he it. was dating daphne and she was like fred doesn't fred doesn't pay attention to me anymore and he's and he prioritizes his stupid magazines and his stupid traps over me and then this one episode where daphne like comes over to his house and he and fred is trying to prove that he loves daphne more than he loves his magazines <laughs> And more and his and his weird ghost traps. His, his traps illustrated. The traps <laughs> illustrated magazine, and he's hiding it under the bed like it's a porno from his mom. Like <laughs> God, God, Mystery Inc. was just like Chef's Kiss. It was so funny. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, tra it was traps. It was it traps monthly? Is that what it was? Traps. It monthly? was either traps monthly or like trap. Or it was either traps illustrated or it was traps monthly. But they like blatantly designed it to look like a Sports Illustrated magazine. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's knock these last two out here for the show. Uh, and what's really great is that the final two actually feature all four of you. Oh, okay. Yay! Mm -hmm. Let's go. So here is, uh, here's the next clip. This next clip sends us into the far off future year of 2062. Ooh. To when Ooh. news reporter Chet Sprinkley interviewed the Jetsons after they stopped the mob. <laughs> the, <laughs> the mob? The mob. The, mo the mob. Wait, what? I didn't know oh, they had okay. mobsters in the future. The yeah. Cloud Damn. Cop Mafia, everyone. <laughs> future mob. Their family survived. Can so, you imagine uh, a drive-by from the mob, but they make the little jets and car noises? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Chet Sprinkley, the TV interviewer, will be played by Min. Uh, George Jetson will be played by Zorin. Elroy Jetson will be played by Digi. 
<laughs> and Astro will be played by Red. I'm noticing a pattern here that you keep you having to play dogs. Dog twice. <laughs> Dang, I can't believe Red's being typecast. I'm being typecast. I don't know how I feel about that. This is so sad. <laughs> Can we get five substitutes? <laughs> Uh, actually, no, I, when I was, uh, when I was putting these together, I actually didn't realize that I put, I put you as Astro right after I put you as, uh, Scooby, <laughs> so it just kind of funny worked out that so way. So it's a subconscious type casting, I oh get it. Oh my god, there goes the five subs, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, okay, all right. So let's take a look at the, uh, at the edited clip. That's uh, Chet Sprinkly. That's the TV interviewer. And of course, Elroy and Astro. Sounds okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the clip. <laughs> All right, I think I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> uh, I can't believe there are some people in chat that are like, Flintstones rip off? Guys, it's the same company. It's the same people. Yeah. It's literally, literally the same the company. Literally the same people. That makes Flintstones and yeah. also makes Jetsons. They're the everything. same company. They had a crossover. <laughs> they did. I, I they did. And there, were, there was a whole movie about it, in fact. Yeah, they did. A, they had a whole movie crossover. <laughs> I, I think it's hard for maybe people who were born before this sort of like, like after this sort of stuff was like commonly aired on television to realize how massive Hanna Barbera was! Oh yeah, like, in the in the fifties, sixties, and seventies, Hanna Barbera basically ruled cartoon television. Mm -hmm. They like, also kept making the same show over and over again, but with different aesthetics. Yep, yes. and they they at the time were were exponentially larger than Disney was. Mm -hmm. Dude, to give people context, all of that that has been happening is was our Family Guy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah like, it's actually, the same yeah, thing you're over right. It was over. basically our family guy. Yeah. Wait, okay, so in that case, which, if with Flintstones versus Jetsons, which one is family guy and which one is American dad? Flintstones is absolutely family guy and the Jetsons is American dad. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> I yeah, I'll fall it. in line. I'll fall in line. All right. Deep breaths, <laughs> and here we go. In All three, right. <laughs> two, one, let's jam. And here we have the Jetsons. They uh, fouled off the whole goddamn mafia, the whole robo mafia. That was wild. Anyway, here's George Jetson. How did you do it, sir? I keep to flapping my lips. Well, I was trying. We we're trying to sell a dog, and he's still up for auction here. But he took him out all himself. Whoa, that's really crazy. And you guys know who this guy in a dog costume is? Oh, um, it looks like a normal dog to me. Anyway, how did you take off the mafia? I'm not going to answer questions from you. I don't trust the fake news liberal media here. No, <laughs> this is a lie. They're all lying to you, everybody. They're just trying to sensationalize everything so that they can get ratings. He watches way too much of the television. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it's uh, all a okay, bully. That's, that's it's enough, all distraction. No, screw you. I'm that's mad enough, as okay. hell, okay. and I'm not going to take this start, anymore. Start. No, you can't no. keep doing this. This is not what this is for. Cut the camera. Cut the camera. <laughs> I was not I expecting have... you to talk as Astro. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting the Alex Jones furry arc. Alex <laughs> Jones. <laughs> Talking to Astro, I thought you were gonna do like the generic, like rah, 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 you know, like Astro <laughs> does, and then you just you just went for it. I appreciate yeah. and respect the hustle. Thank you. <laughs> Out of left field. 
Oh the my moment God. you said the words liberal media, I was <laughs> gone. <laughs> We watch Digi's like soul leave his body in real time. <laughs> God. Well, because at first, because at first I was gonna do like, a, oh my gosh, this is amazing. First he did this, this, that. Then like when they tried pushing, like pulling him away, I was like, nope, I'm gonna make him like an <laughs> anti like media, now. like anti media truther. <laughs> the numbers may seem what do they mean? <laughs> it's all about numbers. <laughs> They're just trying to make scared run. All right, so what what's it like with the audio? <laughs> All right, so here, here's the original clip. I think we got pretty close. This is your on-the-spot newsman, Chet Sprinkley. We're at the Jetsons' home, where the Megaton mob has just been captured. And here he is, George Jetson, the hero of the day. Well, not really. My son, Elroy, is the real hero here. Uh, Elroy, my boy, tell us what happened. The truth is, Astro is the one who saved us. Well, Astro, could you tell us what happened? Your version was actually better, Red. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever see such a ham? <laughs> The liberal media. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, I'm going to take a little sippy of my spicy barbecue water here. Mm. I love spicy barbecue yeah, water. Yeah, spicy barbecue water. She's talking about Dr. Pepper. You can't say the brand. They don't pay us enough. <laughs> <They don't... laughs> we got a sponsorship, sponsorship section over there. Come at me, Pepsi Cola. <laughs> <laughs> Giant neon sign just descends <laughs> to cover the entire screen. <laughs> Brought to you by <laughs> spicy barbecue water. <laughs> All right. So this one was a fun find. I thought you guys would have fun with this for the uh, for the last clip of the evening. Okay. This one again okay. stars all four of you. Our final clip of the show hits the skies. As the evil Dr. Claw sabotages a plane to finally put an end to Inspector Gadget. Oh, no. Good news, oh. Red. You're not playing the dog this time. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Red Claw will be playing Penny. Uh, Brain, the dog, <laughs> will be played by Min this time. <laughs> Hey! Why is there a dog in like every clip I've picked? I'm gonna week? say there's so many dogs in there. There's a lot of dogs this week. I'm sorry. The eight, the, like this, the 70s and 80s cartoons are like, what if we had a dog? Everyone, That's yeah, relatable, like right? a dog side. Kid. Everybody yeah. make a dog. We'll just have the dog talk. So Penny is being played by Red. Brain the dog is being played by Min. Uh, Inspector Gadget will be played by Zorin, and Doctor Claw will be played by Digi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's take a look at the edited clip. The intense music, God. <laughs> the intensity of getting on a plane. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> like a paper airplane just there's your there's I, I, the clip <laughs> there it is <laughs> oh, i like God. how it just looks like instead of doing anything about it he's just talking to the dummies <laughs> i'm trying to think of what to make him do but every single one of them is horrible <laughs> oh no let's I go mean, out bang, a, i guess terrible terrible plane joke crashing joke after plane <laughs> crashing joke and i'm like no no <laughs> i can't do it <laughs> 
The chat's like, go for it, go for it, go for it. They're all just like, just be dark, do it. <laughs> I'm blanking so hard. <laughs> it's like I've I'm, I'm looked at it multiple times like, I got nothing. I got nothing. It's so hard to think of one now. Ready to, ready to give it a try? I'm going to mess it up. So here we go. <laughs> Take a Listen. deep breath. In three, two, one, let's jam. Well, Penny and Brad, it's so good to see all of you all. After my operation of finally putting much crashing on the last plane, I finally got some first class tickets on this brand new airline that no one's tested yet. Now, while you two wait here, I'm gonna go check with the pilots, make sure we're not gonna crash this time. Why does he always leave me unsupervised? Hey, fellas, it's so good to see you. I hope you're not like the last one. Oh, come on. This is just dirty. Oh! Hey! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Hey, fellas, you, you, you need to pull up this one. It's not Microsoft Simulator. Farewell, Inspector Dumas. <laughs> I hate this more fun to advertise it. Holy Dr. shit, Nancy Dumbass. with the Dr. Claw perfect impersonation. That was Where great. did you pull that from? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Farewell, Inspector Dumbass. Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great Dr. Claw. Oh my god. Uh, thank you. Oh, that, that was, was really great, impressive. That was great, Digi. That was great. <laughs> round well, of applause I, uh... for fucking Zorin and Digi. <laughs> <laughs> Inspector Dumbass. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play the original clip. Here we go. All right. Nothing's gonna trump Inspector Dumbass. No, I, yeah. I think in <laughs> Inspector Dumbass has got it for that clip. Mm. Gee, I'm sure glad my teacher gave me permission to go with you, Uncle Gadget. Yes, Penny. You and Brain can have a nice vacation while I complete my mission. Gosh, Uncle Gadget, I haven't seen the stewardess since we took off. Yes, Penny, I'll go check the pilot's cabin. Golly, Brain, I wonder why there are no other passengers. Say, fellas, have you seen the stewardess? Bon voyage, Gadget. <laughs> <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> What's happening? Say, fellas, this plane seems to be flying crazy. Oh my god, I was right. He's <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice work, guys. Nice work. Good job. Good job. We did it. Can we, we, uh, can we get a heckin' round of applause? Some nice heckin' emotes in the chat for all four of my, uh, vic I mean, uh, guests what? for today's... Uh <laughs> oh, please. We willingly came here. here. Uh, yeah, you did. You willingly came here. Except for Zorin. And then except I had to step down the bottom chain. Totally, totally Acme approved, by the way. Uh, th thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you need to get a sponsorship with Acme. I oh, thought Acme I mean, died after that freak uh, anvil accident. <laughs> That's why no, I use pianos on my stream one. now. That's why we use pianos because otherwise uh, it gets a little bit messy, expensive. And the acoustics gross. are amazing. By what's amazing? <laughs> the acoustics. Oh yeah, yeah, we get them too. <laughs> Hence the name of the show. That's the oh, joke. <laughs> <laughs> you good? My throat was not ready for the Dr. Claw. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> You'll die yet, gadgets. Yeah, You'll that Dr. Claw was hella impressive. <laughs> but I want to I want to take a moment to thank all of you guys for, for showing up today, hanging out here, uh, being guests on episode two. I love you and I appreciate mm. you. Uh, it was a wild time. I hope you had some laughs. I hope you had fun. Most importantly, oh my God. hope you had a good time. And I hope that the audience as well had a good time on this episode. Um, this was a fun time. If, uh, <laughs> if you would like to check out any of my wonderful pals below, uh, their username is the same as it is on Twitch. Go ahead and give them a nice follow. I would really appreciate that. Give them some support and some love. And as always, thank you guys for joining me on Tuned In. We do the show here every single Saturday afternoon at 2 p.m. ET, 11 in the morning if you are PT. And so I hope you are going to be joining us for our next one. Uh, the episode for this one, the VOD for this one, uh, will be available on the Patreon one week early. Uh, and then it will go public next week on episode three. 
So, if you're not already following over there, we'd love the support. You can join our Discord as well and hang out and talk about all the episodes and the awesome guests that we have here. And until next time, we'll see you later. Yeah! Have a wonderful rest of your weekend, guys! Goodbye! Bye! Bye. Take care! Bye. See you next bye. time! Remember the tune in next time. Good heckin' bye, friends! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye! Don't die! Bye. I'll find you. 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 I